Hello, hello, Sherwin JTB's back in action. Today we're gonna talk about the armory. So, let's look at our first. In our first set or build is T6, which is Torment 6. So we can change this name to Torment 6. Just click and type. So this is for power leveling. We're not gonna go through our whole whole. We're not gonna go through all of our items. We're just gonna see what we do with our armory. So basically, we're keeping all our gear, but we're changing our gems, our gems, and our skills one by one. So Torment 6, this is our setup. We're gonna go straight to Greater Rift 75. And this is equipped. So if you wanna equip this build, you, you type, you just click on equip and you're using your Torment 6 build. If you wanna use your Greater Rift 75, so you can ch change the name here, Greater Rift 70. Oh, okay, you can't. Not enough characters are allowed, so you just click OK for GR75. So, equip. So, we're, we've now equipped Greater Rift 75. Funny how it doesn't show the, the legendary gem here, because from here, it, was, it used to be Boon of the Hoarder, and now it is Bane of the Trapped. So we're actually going to play around here. So Greater Rift 75, we will accept. I'll just quickly run through Greater Rift 75. This will be a speed run, so... I am guaranteeing that this takes less than 3 minutes. <laughs> Unless we get lost. So pretty much all these monsters are dying pretty quickly, so we've got a conduit pylon. Alright, third floor. Alright, power pylon. Easy. <clears throat> Looks like we might reach the fourth floor at this rate. Nope. Almost there. There we go. Bone Warlock. Alright, under two minutes. Let's kill that critter. Alright, just leveling, leveling up a random gem. Fail, fail. Alright, the next on our armory. Uh, let's just close this greater rift. So that was finished in 1 minute and 47 seconds. The next one we're gonna do is greater rift 80. So equip that build. So the, the main change we did was we changed our rubies that was in the chest armor and pants to diamonds for resistance so that was the main change greater rift 80 okay
Just hope we don't meet a dead end. Alright, channeling pylon. Second floor. Open this door. Having trouble opening that door. <laughs> For those few seconds really hurts us. <laughs> Fourth floor. And Rift Guardian. Agni Docks. Alright, just a little over two minutes because we're on the fourth floor. Failed once to upgrade the gem. Alright, Paragon 956. We did level 80 in 2 minutes and 15 seconds. The next one we're gonna we're gonna change in our armory is or equip is Greater Rift 85. So did you see the difference? We're changing our Bane of the Trapped gem to Bane of the Stricken, Legendary Gem. Alright, equip. So the our Bane of the Trapped is now in our inventory. We want to put them back in our stash. Let's clear out our... Let's clear out our shards and stash or inventory. Let's clean it up first before we do our Greater Rift 85. It's a new transmog. Salvage, 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 salvage. Hmm. So, I'll think about that one. Think about it, think about it. Let's think about it. percent I'll think about it because it has two yards that's pretty cool pretty cool all right amulets in here weapons in here all right so greater rift 85 armory build is ready to go so Bane of the stricken was the major change. Okay. Let's go. Two champion packs. I want to run out of there. Dead end.
Lost a few seconds there because of the molten explosions. We want to run out of, run away from that. More mol molten explosions. Okay, just grab that purple globe. All right, power pylon. All right, another champion here. There's a lot of molten explosions in here. They're coming to get me. All right, that champion. Whoop. Shield pylon, awesome. Arathon. All right, under three minutes. fail even though the last one was at 90% chance so let's just close this greater rift we finished greater rift 85 in 2 minutes and 43 seconds the last build we're gonna swap is GR90 so we're gonna equip our greater rift 90 build the change we did here can you see it all right, we swapped Pound of Flesh for Ruthless. All right. Now we can do that later. Greater Rift 90, let's go, we're balling it. All right, nice map. One down. Here's the other one. So you don't want to stand in those grotesque explosions. Oh. Conduit, pylon, nice. Let's just see where this leads us. Come on, shield. Another pylon.
we're stuck because of the wall. Here we go, last pack. Scandial. All right, under four minutes. That was expected. Going back to town. So Greater Rift 90 completed in 3 minutes and 30 seconds. There's a plus sign here. We can check uh, the other people on our friends list or clan members who's also completed their Greater Rift progress with a Barbarian. So we've only done 103 at, the, at this stage. Let me just clean out my inventory first. Use up our shards. Salvage. Hmm. All right. So we've almost cleaned out our. Our bag. All right, we're now Paragon 957. We're over Paragon 800, so utility, defense, and offense are maxed out. We've added enough vitality to get 750,000 maximum life. Movement speed is maxed out at 25%. So Fury, we just left alone. It's at 1, 2, 3. And the rest of the points into Strength. We accept that. So just a recap. We didn't play around with Torment 6, but that's our build. Greater Rift 75, Greater Rift 80, Greater Rift 85, Greater Rift 90. There's actually a second page here, the Vault. We use that build to enter into our Vault, or when we, you know, use our puzzle rings either regular or ancient legendary rings. We put the puzzle ring in the Kanai cube to open up the vault. So we're currently using our Greater Rift 90 build. We have it equipped. We'll just go through our items right now. Quickly run through our items. So in Kanai's cube we have Ambo's Pride, Lamentation, and Ring of Royal Grandeur. Our follower Enchantress cannot die because she's using the Smoking Thurible. Azure Wrath with Lightning Damage Enchanted, Word Ward, Oculus Ring, and Overwhelming Desire you can find from Bounty Caches. The skills is Charm, Powered Armor, Erosion, and Focused Mind. All right, the gear we're using is the Mantle of Channeling, Gauntlet of the Wastes, Convention of Elements, Bulkathus' Solemn Vow, Sabaton of the Wastes, Tacit of the Wastes, Pride of Cassius, Six Seconds, Ignore Pain, Cuirass of the Wastes, Helm of the Wastes, The S of Johan, 
Nemesis Bracers, Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac with 8% cooldown, and Bulkathus's Warrior Blood. So diamonds in the helm, diamonds in the chest armor, and diamonds in the pants. We've got emeralds in the weapons. And our three legendary gems is Esoteric Alteration, Bane of the Stricken, and Gogok of Swiftness, all at rank 90. So the most important detail we need in the offense is cooldown reduction, which is at 57.91%. So cooldown reduction is in 8% on the shoulders, 8% on the gloves, 8% on the convention of elements, 10% on Bulkathus's Solemn Vow, 10% on Bulkathus's Warrior Blood, 8% on the Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac, and 8% 8% on the S of Johan. So our critical hit chance is currently at 50%. We increase that by 10% when we cast Wrath of the Berserker. So critical hit chance is on the gloves, on the rings, on the bracers, and on the amulet, and on the helm. So there's physical damage increase on the amulet and on the bracers. There's rend damage increase on the shoulders and on the chest armor. So the next one is pick up radius. This is the fun one. So bonus to gold globe radius. We're currently at 12 yards. The highest we can go is either 16 or 22 with Rondal's locket. So Rondal's Locket is here. Increase gold and health pickup by 4 to 6 yards, which is the secondary. But we're currently using the amulet, the S of Johan, because it has physical damage, critical hit chance, and cooldown of all skills reduction. So keep in mind that cooldown of all skills is the most important. The second important one is critical hit chance and physical damage is the, the what do you call it, the triplicate. All right. Our skills includes Rend Bloodbath, Whirlwind Blood Funnel, Ignore Pain Bravado, Overpower, Crushing Advance, Threatening Shout, Falter, Wrath of the Berserker, Insanity, Ruthless, Nerves of Steel, Boon of Bulkathos, and Rampage. Now if you think that you're getting hit too hard, you can swap your rune in Wrath of the Berserker to Striding Giant. So reduce all damage taken by 50%. Say if you want to go progress higher, like Greater Rift 100. That could still work. Should we test it? Let's test it. Alright, let's test it. One more run. Greater Rift uh, 100. This is not a speed run. Alright, let's go. Alright, I don't like these monsters because they hit really hard. That's the first elite pack. Here's the second elite pack. We try and gather up all these monsters because...
it's quicker to kill everything when they're all piled up together. See these elites, they're not following me. <laughs> Paragon 958. That's the second elite pack. Let's see if there's anything else down here. Anything up here. Champion pack is dead. Nice. All right, two for one. One elite pack dead. So these hulking phase beasts are still in this in this crowd. All right, our time's looking pretty good right now. We're definitely gonna finish this within fifteen minutes. Unless, <laughs> unless we proc our nerves of steel. Whoop, run out of those. Next, nothing down here. When I say nothing down there, it's usually no elite packs or champions to kill. There's one there. So these elite packs are pretty spread out, which is a bit annoying. That's what we call terrible monster density. Mm, 
will they chase us? I have no idea. Alright, they're coming. One, two, three. Come on over, champion. There we go. So we managed to pick up two, uh, one blue elite pack and two champions in this mess. Can't really see much in with all these like poison, arcane, ice, cold damage. That's two down. There's one more somewhere. Here he is. Alright. Who do we have? Oh, it's an easy one. Sextress. Five minutes and 23 seconds remaining. So we completed Greater Rift 100 in less than 10 minutes. That was pretty easy. We didn't proc our nerves of steel. So to be exact, we completed Greater Rift 100 in 9 minutes and 36 seconds. We're now Paragon 959. Let's just uh, use the Book of Cain to identify our items. Spend our shards and salvage. Most of these items we just quickly salvage because they're useless and we don't have room in our stash to collect everything. Alright, Paragon 959. Let's put the rest of our points into strength. Accept 750,000 maximum life. Isn't that great? <laughs> Alright. Ooh, 6.7 billion gold. Alright, thank you for watching our video uploaded on YouTube. Please subscribe to our channel. There's a button somewhere in the right corner. Hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos. And follow us on Twitter at SherwinJTB. We tweet a lot more often than we upload our videos.
well, we're currently uploading more videos now, so that may change. See you later.